We just left a Pride Festival. What was that, maybe, what, 15 minutes from here, 10 minutes from here? Where hundreds of sodomites paid for a permit to use your public park to celebrate perversion and to celebrate drag queens and to celebrate being a tranny. Hundreds of sodomites. 15 minutes from here are gathering and have been gathered all day long to celebrate that which is evil in the sight of a holy God. And there were, to my counting, eight Christians there today preaching the gospel. The only ones that bothered to show up were us. And I'm not in any way saying that that makes us better Christians, but what it does make us is obedient Christians. My challenge to you today is why are we not obeying the Word of God as Christians in this city of Huntsville? This is the public pri pri uh, Why are we not keeping the command of the Lord to establish justice? Thank you. Thank you so much, Officer. In a city where homosexuality is worshipped and glorified, why are we not establishing justice? In the words of the late fornicator, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and adulterer, I have a dream. I have a dream, folks. I have a dream that one day Christians will hit the sidewalks instead of the concert hall and preach the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ to those who need to hear it before they die and go to hell. I wonder how many of you have ever actually shared your faith with somebody? How many of you have actually ever preached the word? How many of you have actually ever told a homosexual that what they're doing is wrong? How many of you have showed up at an abortion mill to rescue babies? No, not these days. There is but a remnant of Christianity that cares to do those things that God commands us to do. Where you can find Christians is congregating at the local concert halls to, to entertain themselves. You see, Christians in 2023 love to be entertained, don't we? We like our shows. We like our churches to be shows. We love to sit in our movie theater seating in Huntsville First Baptist Church or wherever you go to church. And we love to be entertained yeah. by a pastor who doesn't speak the truth. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. We love to be entertained by our, our giant worship services, complete with lights, fogs, and half a feminized worship leaders. We love to go to concerts where we can sit and be entertained. But yet, where is the desire of the body of Christ to go out and do that which is right? Amen. To establish justice. I have a dream that one day Christians will congregate in their senator's offices and refuse to leave until their government puts the wicked to death. I have a dream that one day Christians will cry aloud and said, we will not be quiet until homosexuals are hung from the neck until dead. These are not things that we care about as Christians because we have been duped into believing that our job as Christians is to be the most loving creature in the world. But yet when you ignore a sinner in their sin, you are indeed not being loving. There is nothing loving about ignoring the state of this world. That's right. Folks, you need to look around you. You need to look around you at the state of our nation. Our nation is on its way to hell. We're currently being judged by God and being destroyed because of the sins of sodomy, because of the sin of child sacrifice. And yet, what are we doing as Christians? 
As I've already said, the sidewalks outside of abortion mills and pride parades are, for the most part, empty. But yet the concert halls are full of Christians. I'm reminded of how history repeats itself. That when the Jews were being hauled off to the concentration camps in the boxcar, as they would ride by the churches, the pastors would tell their congregants to sing a little louder so they couldn't hear the screams and cries of those being led to their death. We are no better today than those Christians were in Germany. We are no better today than they were because we do not care Fear about God. Love. Turn from your sins, give up your sin, forsake your sin, stop your sin. Stop your sin against God. Wicked. Wicked. You say amen and then you flip somebody off for suggesting that you should respect yourself. See, you show your real heart. You show your real heart. That's right. Preach. Excuse me. Are you talking right. to my daughter? Yes. Yes. Shame. Right. Wicked. Say whatever you want. You don't like it? Get right with God, you wicked Jezebel. Feminist pig, you ought to shut your fat mouth. It's what you ought to do. Shut your mouth and get right with God is what you need to do. And to get right with God. You're going to burn in hell. Hell fire when you die, sinner. You better fear God. You better fear God, you feminist pig. You better shut your mouth for God puts you in hell fire. Hell fire when you die. You better fear the Lord. You better fear a holy God dropping you off into hell fire. That's what you better fear. You don't know nothing about God. God commands the women dress modestly. That's in the Bible. You need to read it. Fear God is what you need to do. When will the church of Jesus Christ stand up and establish righteousness? When will we do something other than just want to entertain ourselves all the time? When will we obey the God of the Bible? The Bible says in that same chapter I was just quoting in Amos 5, it says that God hates our solemn assemblies, He hates our feast days, and He hates our worship. Why does He hate these things? Because we do not obey Him. We do not fulfill what He says our job is to do, which is to preach the gospel and make disciples. And today in America we live in a nation that calls good evil, and evil good. It's an upside down time. And what is the response of Christians but to hide out in their safe places? They're no better than the sodomites making their colleges into safe places. We have made our churches into safe places where we hide from what God says to do. It's time for this. Christians to get out of the closet. What's that? Get Nick up right up. Time for the body of Christ to get out of the closet and start obeying the Lord. Christians, persecution is coming, and most of you are not ready for it because you're not grounded in the Word of God, and you've not been practicing the commands of God. You've not been obeying Him. You're not ready for the days to come. And that's why we're here today to preach unto you the Word of God that you would repent if you do not truly believe, and if you believe, that you would stand up and start being a Christian. That's right. The Bible says that the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep His commandments. Do you really fear God today? Do you really fear God today? Can you give me a thumbs up? I don't know. It doesn't say to respect God. It doesn't say to revere God. It says to fear God. I fear God today. And so I'm going to have my reputation ruined by preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's time for Christians to get out of the closet. It's time for Christians to get out of the concert halls and get out on the street and start obeying the Lord. Repent today and follow Jesus. Well, 
silver. Yeah. That's okay. hard, but some clowns like a, a Gabe though. Christians, they go to church on Sunday, they were baptized when they were children, but they do not live their lives doing the will of God. Nope. The Bible says, love not the world, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in you. If you love the world, the love of God, it's not in you. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, all oh, that feels good. The lust of the eyes, doesn't that look good? And the pride, the pride, the pride of life, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world, people. It's of the world, people. And the world is passing away. Yep. You're going to pass away with the world. You love your filthy movies, your filthy music, your filthy television. You love the world. You're going to pass away. You're going to pass away with the world. Who abides forever? He that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Not you people who profess Jesus Christ with your mouths, but your hearts are far from Him. You go to church on Sunday, but you live in sin and wickedness. You live like the devil. The Bible says, he that committeth sin, he that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. You think you can hold on to a little bit of sin and have Jesus too. You cannot serve two masters, Jesus said. You cannot serve two masters. You're supposed to be dead to sin. You're supposed to be dead to yourself. You're supposed to be dead to yourself and alive unto God. Yeah. To do the will of God, to obey God, to love God with all your heart, to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. You think going to a, ch a concert is going to save your soul. You think going to church is pleasing to God. All I have to do is go to church on Sunday. I'll give my tithes and offering. I'll give that old homeless man on the street corner a couple of bucks. Your good works will not save you. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ died for your sins. Not for you to keep living like the devil. Because your sin separates you from God. Christ died for you. He shed his blood on that cross for you. God made a way for you. God made a way for you to be reconciled back to him. Because he's so good. He is so holy. He's holy, holy, holy. And your sin separates you from him. Your wickedness separates you from Him. Oh, but He made a way for you to be reconciled. He made a way. There's only one way. And that's through the blood of Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ who said, I love you. Yeah. No, He never said, I love you. He said, except you repent, you will perish. He said, if your hand causes you to sin. Oh, but I sin every day, Jesus. Well, I can't stop sinning, Jesus. I can't stop sinning, Jesus. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. That's the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Cut it off. Oh, cut it off and cast it from you, or it's going to be hell fire. Yeah. That's preach. That's the Jesus Christ of the King James Bible. I love you and accept you. I'm very tolerant. That's not Jesus. 
the Jesus Christ you people are worshiping in this building is not the Jesus Christ of the King James Bible. It's not the true Jesus who hates God hates all workers of iniquity. God hates sin. God hates evil. You ought to hate sin. Christian, you say I'm born again. I'm a Christian. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost of the Most High God who hates evil. He loves righteousness. He loves holiness. Oh, he hates sin. You ought to hate sin. This God, I'm filled with the Spirit of this Most High God who loves holiness. He's holy. And the Holy Ghost of the Most High God leads me into holiness. Holiness. He leads me into righteousness. All going to this little concert is not going to save your soul. This little concert is not pleasing in the eyes of God. You know what please God, you fakes? You know what would please God? If you obey Him. If you stop being a fake and obey Him. Do what he says. I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. But you live in sin and wickedness. You live in sin and filth. You roll around in your swamp like the pigs that you are. You roll around in your mud and your swamp like the pigs that you are. Filthy swine. Filthy swine. Brute beast, dirty dog. That's what God calls them. Shame on you. We raise our children up in this nation to be whores. We raise our children to be filthy, disgusting whores. Our sons to be whoremongered dogs. And your whore daughter goes out sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. She gets knocked up and murders her baby. The Bible says prostitute, not thy daughter. Stop raising your whole daughter to be filthy and disgusting. That's right. Prostitute, not thy daughter. Lest the whole land be filled with whoredom. What do we have here in America? A land filled with whoredom. We are filled with whoredom. And the whole land has been turned unto wickedness. You come here to do your little concert. All the while, these sodomites are parading around in your streets. That's right. Uh -huh. These sodomites are parading around in your streets, and you don't say a word about them. You don't say a word to him about Jesus. Going after Let me tell you something, you big Christians. Huh? If he Jesus comes over Christ here, you love your This is very lovely. This is the compassion of God. This is the mercy. This is the love of God that he would raise up men to tell you you're wicked, you're evil, you're in sin, and you're going straight to hell because that's what God said. That's what God said. God said, you're on your way to hell, woman. You're on your way to hell, woman. You're on your way to hell, fire, because you love the devil. You're a child of the devil. There's two types of people in this world. There's the children of God, those who do the will of God, those who live holy before God, and there's the children of the devil. Two types of people. Christians live holy. Christians live for Jesus. Christians do the will of God. Christians love the word of God that says to be holy. God commands you to be holy. Know ye not that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, be not deceived by your wicked pastor tickling your ears, making you feel good. Oh, be not deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Neither fornicators. Those having sex outside of marriage. What you raise your children up to think is perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. okay, Timmy. You sleep with a few girls here and there. You're not going to know if you like her if you don't test her out. That's all right. You can you can get a little promiscuous. Hey, have you had your first kiss yet, little Timmy? 
That's how you raise your children, because your hearts are filthy. Yep. You need to raise your children up to be pure. You need to raise your children up to love God. You need to raise your children up in the Word of God. Neither fornicator. Fornicator. No, you filthy. It. Neither fornicators nor idolaters, that's what you people are. That's what you people are. You made up with Jesus Christ and you're